Good morning, good evening. Uh, welcome to Mikael Minecraft. I'm here, your host. Uh, I hope everybody is doing okay. Over here, well, I was contacted by our Create Love. And this is a company who only sells paying by numbers, okay? I have some few items, but I ordered a small one. I did try paying by numbers before, though I don't have anything on the website. But I got a little, I don't know, disappointed. And I have this. This is the item, and I want you to take a real good look at it, okay? Let me check, let me, let me move you closer. Okay, I want you to take a real good look at it. Okay, especially in the flowers over there and all around. So, you see, when you try a craft, unless you're familiar like me, I was familiar with uh, cross stitch because I used to do counter cross stitch. So when I found the stamp, I should still, I should have started with the small one because now I have a problem with uh, the big mermaid, but I'm working on that. So I try it and I went overboard. This is a 16 by 20 and you guys are going to judge by yourself. Okay, I'm going to put it close. I'm going to zoom you in. Okay, I didn't want to, that's another company. So I don't want to, uh, how you say it. I want to respect since they uh, contacted me and give me the opportunity with these products. So here is my work. So now you'll be the judge of yourself. Remember, I show you this one. Okay. I show you this is how it's supposed to turn out. Right. And here is how my work turn out. Okay, I don't think it's that bad, but probably because I had to eat dry for a long time. But uh, I was a little disappointed. I didn't find the rendering too well, but you guys be the judge of that. Okay, you guys be the judge of this. Because it was kind of disappointed by, you know, by this. But then, take a look at, again, to the original one. To the way it's supposed to be rendered. rendered. Okay, look at these flowers in here, right? And look at my flowers in here. Okay. From far away, they look okay, but I don't know. You know, you'll be the judge. So this is when I try, and then I bought like a couple of them more, but I said, I don't know, I got, I got lost interest after the outcome of this one. So I have it on the tube, on the original tube, okay? So this time, they gave me the, the the option to choice to choose right so I choose oh there's six in here maybe something else well there is five this one is folded in half and this is one two three four and five they are a small ones so we're gonna open it over here in this video I'm gonna put the link of the products below, okay? So let's start with this folded one. I don't like this thing, but let me see. They're all 20 by 20 centimeters. So you know how that goes. Now I don't know where to open. Let me see. Cause I don't wanna cut the canvas. Okay, this way is okay. So let's see this first one. They're relatively is small. This one is going to have like about 10 colors I see already. Okay. Let's see. 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 Let's see.
Okay, anything else in here? Lighter. Yeah, I have two. <laughs> okay. So you get the set of uh, paints. There's 10 colors on this one. Take a look at the colors. Very beautiful. You get a set of uh, brushes, which I'm gonna be using them because I even bought a nice set of brushes on Amazon, but I kind of lost interest. Maybe this will spark my interest again and we can do a paint by me uh, on Saturday. So let's see the image on this one. Oh, this is my favorite. This is the lighthouse. Oh, this is a little phone. And these are the instructions. And this is the image. Oh, yes, I chose simple stuff, okay? As simple as possible. Oh, this is my favorite. This is the one that I'm going to be doing first. But, you know, I'm going to do it little by little. It's not that... I'm going to be becoming a painter. <laughs> oh, a lighthouse. You know I got to have one of those in every craft, okay? in every craft so it only has 10 colors there is some blendings over here as you can see that must be done i just got to see that so let's see what is with this canvas let's see the numbers it's only 10 color it should be so easy to do too so you see this is how should i started it okay no, with a big <laughs> it's a 16 by 20 it's not a big soccer but for me it's a big one uh, this is the way that it should have been done that I should have started maybe I wouldn't be so afraid back then let me fold it back let me roll it back because so I'm going to have to stretch this one out okay here it is the numbers are clear as you can see very dark colors and this will be good if you're interested i mean you're curious or interested on it please write in here below uh, because this is nice this will help you i don't know with your hand movement if you have problems like right now my arthritis became erosive so i gotta keep on exercising my hands i can the only thing is that over here we have quite a bit of little numbers but you can distinguish one is a four one is a three and a 10 and 9 and 5 i'm looking it closer because <laughs> you might need a, a loop on this one so oh these ones oh I, I would like to start on this one but i'm gonna try this one then the rest you can choose what to do next so this should be nice i like it i like my i like the fact that the numbers are dark the lines are dark we have little lines over here that are gonna be a little bit uh confusing but you know we can work that out so that's the first one i'm gonna put it over here on the side okay let's Take a look at the next one. Let's see if we'll
they all of them are 20 by 20 they're gonna be a small and because I said well if I'm gonna try this again let me start like I've never done this before okay because here this one has gonna have eight colors okay here it is beautiful muted color I wonder what it is you get the same the brushes with the you know the metals for you to hang it and then you get these little see I'm gonna stretch them out because I'm gonna do them little by little I'm not gonna be you know let's see which one is this oh these are the poppies you know that I love flowers I love flowers these are the poppies these are the poppies 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 it's flying away I'm gonna have to seek a way to organize this stuff <laughs> ah, I come to my house I have a shop of all the craft imaginable <laughs> here it is this is another one that uh, I'm gonna have to iron these canvases before I start doing it because uh, you know, just a light bit you know this one is also here is the base oops I don't want to lose the although the good thing is that you can see is they have the number and the canvas whoop, has the number okay so you can match just in case these I don't worry about it because I, like I told you I have a set okay so here it is the poppies the flowers a lot a lot a lot of small spaces that you might need a magnifier to see it you know and uh, I don't remember they recommend you to start from the background going in because it will dry and stuff like that I don't even remember that I gotta see but this one has a lot of small spaces okay lot of uh, small paces this one is going to take a little bit more time than the um than the lighthouse so let's go to the next one right we got about six of the no five so um, we, i'm gonna put the uh, product links below so far so good i like the numbers it's just uh, a lot of uh, small paces and uh, you know the, all of them are 20 by 20 centimeters okay I didn't get any big ones cuz oh here it is yeah ah, I take a look at this cutie to do it for Christmas time this is a reindeer. This is the image we're going to see yet again. This, <coughs> <coughs> this one has eight colors. Let me fix it, something in here. So you can see the colors, all of them from the back. have to turn it around here they are this is gonna be pretty easy 
He's an easy one. Those are the colors for the reindeer. Again, you get the set of brushes and the tools to uh, hang it, okay? I just show you the picture. So let's get to see the canvas. Here are the instructions, which I throw them away because all you have to do is watch some video, but let's do this together. This is just starting, okay? Oh, this is... <laughs> Well, it's going to be easy and it's not going to be that easy. I'm going to tell you why. So far, the winning one is the uh, lighthouse. <laughs> this one has a lot of detail. Okay, although it's good that it has that lot of detail because it will make it more prettier, you know? But um, take a look at this. This is going to be nice. But this one has a lot of little spaces. Right? A lot of little numbers. But they are, you can't recognize them. Let me see. Let me see. Can you recognize the numbers from out there? No. Probably not. Let me get let me get you back. Oh back out, back out, back out. I'm trying to get you to see any of the small numbers. Here they are. Here they are. I see a three over there or a five. You know, it's gonna take a little bit, you know, to a uh, little bit of time to, to do it. But this is pretty. Pretty, 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 pretty. Very pretty. The canvas are soft. The canvas are smooth, pretty much as smooth. Okay. The same thing goes for the other canvas. So this is another one to choose from, okay, if you want to paint with me. Let's take a look at this one. This one has 12 colors. Woo! Take a look at those pretty colors. Some of them look like uh, fall color. Okay. And again, the brushes with the tools for hanging it. Oh, yes. I know why this one has a lot. You see, I was increasing. As soon as I was choosing, I was going like, you know, let me include a little bit more detail in the pictures that I choose, even though they're 20 by 20. This one, look at all the detail that it has. What can you guess from this one? Take a look at all those details. Sometimes grabbing the small one doesn't pay too much. Okay, this one is a beach, another beach theme. Take a look. This is cute. Summery like. Okay. And again, the canvas is soft. The numbers are clear, even, even in the tiny space. I can see the one, the eight, the nine, very clear. 
okay and the 12 it has a lot of detail lots a lots a lots of detail so here it is here all the detail you're gonna have and here are the number you see I see that eight right in the middle and the nine and the four and the five all these is detail which makes it look good you know you want detail stuff you don't want a stuff that is gonna you know look like uh pixelated okay and again they all have the same number and to match it with the canvas so you can separate them along with the paint okay all of them yeah the flowers the poppy flowers too okay let me get this let me throw this away and let's go to the last one i hope you're enjoying this video some of you might be saying oh no you again with some new craft But if they gave me the stuff, I'm not gonna say no. And besides, I like paint by numbers. I used to do it too when I was a little kid. You know, those uh, kits that comes, uh, let me see, this one has the paper inside. I don't wanna be missing anything. Cause one of them did have the paper inside. Here are the colors. This one is going to have 10 colors. This one looks like it's going to have some fall on it. They are bright colors. We're going to test one of these, but we're going to test the one with the... With the lighthouse because that's the first one I'm going to do. Oh, this is pretty. This is very pretty. A hummingbird with the hibiscus. This is another easy one. Well, relatively easy. It has 10 color. The lighthouse also has 10 color. Take a look at those beautiful. I like that hibiscus flower. With that blue bird on it. That's beautiful. A lot of blending on the background. Let me try to stretch it a little bit. I wish they wouldn't come folded like this. This is beautiful. This one also has a lot of small spaces. The lighthouse doesn't have that much. Let me try to roll it back to see if it will stay. Here it is. That's the bird, that's the flower. Okay, you can see how uh, clear are the numbers, even in the small spaces. This is neat. And for a 20 by 20, they have a lot of detail. And these are cute. You can just hang it in the, you know. But it's a 20 by 20. Let me see that I forgot. It said 20 by 20 but I think it's the canvas size. Let's see. 
Oh no, the canvas size is 25. By 25. I'm just trying for this thing to stay on. Let's see how much is the painting area. Let me get this in here. The painting area is the one that is 20. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Yep, he said 20 by 20 on the painting area. We're going to check the other ones real quick. I forgot to do that. But I like this one too. I like the bird. So we got the bird. We got the bird. All right. We got the beach flower. We want to try how much is this one. Okay, let's see. Nope, that's inches. I want to deal with centimeters. Yeah, it's again the same thing. The canvas is 25 by 25. I'm assuming it's the same in these. Right? And then the painting area. It's a 20. Just a tiny, tiny little bit less. But let's round it to a 20. Yeah. So here we got this one. Which is the beach. Let me see where I'm going to put this. <laughs> oh, and then let's do the lighthouse because I do want to test the paint. Oh, I forgot to get uh, a toothpick. Hold on just a second. Okay, I'm back. So I got me some uh, toothpicks and I got me a napkin. So this one. This is the one that I truly, truly want to do. And this is like a test for the small spaces, because this one has less than the other one. This one is mostly big, so we should be able to finish it uh, pretty quick. Okay, let me measure this one too. Yeah, it's a 25. I'm gonna assume that the other side is 25 too, because there has been the case, and this is a 20. So they are 20 by 20 in the painting area, okay? At the painting area, okay? So now, let's try something here. I got a liquid that, you know, softened this a little bit, so, but I'm just gonna test it a little bit. I'm not gonna paint over here. So we got number 10. Oh, I should not try number 10 because this thing is folding over. I'm just gonna try it a little bit, a little blob, okay? So we don't have any problems. Let me get one of these brushes. Because I'm gonna have to uh Oh, uh, come on, come on, come on, little brushes. This gotta be easier way to do this. Okay, here it is. Here they are. So, instead of the 10, I'm gonna try number 8. 
so because it's right here in the center I can put two stuff on the side and let it dry so number eight it should be this area you know so let's see let's grab one of the toothpicks where are they now here they are because you should uh you should be able to let me see if i can open this because my hands lately are not good Okay, here it is. Let me put the rest of this in here. Okay, here we got. You see, you get this on the top, right? So you can use this to <clears throat> put it back in here or you can also um, use it for your brush, whatever it is left over. Okay, so it's really creamy, as you can see. Let me get you closer. Oops, nope. I uh, should have get you closer over here. And as you can see, it's very creamy. There is no blob or dry stuff on it. That some of them sometimes come with. Okay. So I uh, move it. And what I usually do is take some of this. And what we can do is take some of this. Let me put that scissors in there. We're gonna do number eight over here. Okay. So, but you see, you can use the top to get some of the. See, and we're gonna put a little blob in here to cover the number. And you can see that the number is all over the place so I'm gonna put another blob in here because I have a small one over here and I have that big one over there so I'm gonna leave it like that so I will know that it's number eight because <laughs> this one doesn't come with the uh, doesn't come with the uh, this is a smooth man. This paint is super smooth. One thing that I saw is that you paint over the lines. But this one I won't paint over the line because that's a small one the one that I have to paint next that one I will paint it over the lines so I grabbed some of this I'm liking that it's absorbing, the canvas is absorbing the Oh, I like this better than the other one the one that I did that I showed you at the beginning of the video it seems like it runs smoothly Oh yeah. Uh oh, I might get the hang of this. <laughs> I'm gonna stop it there so I can let it dry. <laughs> Cause otherwise, forget it. We made the whole video about this. I gotta see uh, to put this on water. 
So here it is. We have our first few step on the lighthouse. Oh, my hands got a little wet. So I gotta be careful in here. You have to be careful. I think it's a uh, water-based paint because it just came off with a little bit of water on the side from the soda. So you should have no problems. So folks, this is my unboxing of Art Create Love, a new company on my web on my channel. I hope you like it. I hope you keep me company in this journey. I know that some of you are like, what the heck is wrong with you tempting us to do this? This is fun. This is stuff that makes your mind go away, you know. I cannot be down on painting all the time. I'm going to tell you that right now. I get tired and I get bored. I love the craft, but I like to switch, okay? So, the same thing with a stamp cross stitch and bead cross stitch. So, this is a, another way to, you know, alternate okay so thank you for watching i hope you have a wonderful day i hope you keep company to me on this uh new journey it's not going to be as often as the other one but we're going to do it once in a while paint with me okay and uh, don't forget to kiss and hug your fur baby from mickey and i until the next time much love and peace to all of you. Bye.